At the center of the augmented reality industry lies one company. It's Gravity Jack. And they've been the secret pioneer in the augmented reality and virtual reality space since the early 2000s. Gravity Jack has worked with a plethora of Fortune 500 companies to create the augmented reality experiences you've seen and used today. And after a long wait, they've finally begun their first ever public stock offering. Gravity Jack invites you to join them. They'll continue to be at the center. Find them on startengine.com. Welcome to Cross Politic. I, you could not wait for the weekend to end and uh, Cross Politic no. to begin. Uh, I mean, could it? yeah, I mean, for, I, Cross Politic. I, I thought this was supposed to be handle. Oh, you messed up again. Neil! Pastor Toby. Neil, why come I don't have any handle? Chalk Knox. What is up with that? I'm the water boy. You're supposed to produce the show. The producer's back there laughing. I know. He's like, oh, it's <laughs> a like, joke whatever. to him. Okay. But, um, Worshiping Jesus you know, is a joke over here, I guess. Uh, you know, yeah. it's funny when you said that. I was like, you know, I, this music is not working for me. And I didn't know what it was. It was that. It was handled. I was like, no I keep wanting to change it. No I just handle. can't wait for our wife's Christmas show where my music gets to be played. What? My you, you can music. play your music yep. in your head, Gabe. So I, I got up Sunday morning and uh, like it hadn't been alive 10 seconds that morning. Okay. Yeah. Hadn't been up for like 10 seconds. A walk out. My, my door of my bedroom into the hallway and I my my daughter has an earring standing up. Oh look at that. Like that. And I stepped on it and it hurt so bad. And good good thing it was Sunday morning because I was like, Thank you, Jesus. And started singing the hallelujah and, chorus. <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> and I thought it was like a rock initially on my bare foot. Yeah. And I stepped again trying to <laughs> scrape it off my Oh it it hurt so oh, bad. Ouch. And and I, and I I felt the thing hit the bone. Why do we need to? It was an extra why, long. Why do, you, why do we need to know this? I, you know, I just my sanctification was really on that morning. <laughs> huh? What, what does this have to do with handle? Uh, yeah. What does it have to do I, with the I, show? I just it was something I felt like I needed to tell you guys. Wow. If you want to talk it, with Pastor Toby alone, it still hurts. Y'all could have did that. <laughs> it, it hurts me now. It I, still I, I, hurts. I didn't need to know that, Gabe. For real. <laughs> Classical Conversation uh. supports homeschooling parents by cultivating the love of learning through a Christian worldview and fellowship with other families. They provide a classical, Christ-centered curriculum, local like-minded communities across the United States and in several countries, and they train parents who are striving to be great classical educators in the home. For more information and to get connected, please visit their website at classicalconversations.com. Again, that's classicalconversations.com. And, and while it's still Christmas and Advent season, hey, don't you we got, something to we got our rowdy. I'm getting, I'm getting there. Oh, okay. We got our rowdy flannels. They're oh. up in the store right now. This is a. Uh, this mine. one's Toby, called Crip. Toby. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, blood. This is called. Oh, almost got shot. This one's called Lumberjack Wrench. Almost got shot. That's this called blood. This is called? called Lumberjack Wrench. Uh, that one is, well, it depends on what you put with. If you put a blue thing with it, then yeah, you, you're Crip. Oh. If you put a red bandana with it, yeah. Okay. That one's kind of neutral. Interesting. Right. Well, so, rowdy, I love rowdy, rowdy Christian. Christian. Com. Com. Our you flannels up there. Uh, a, a, a <laughs> I want to get shot flannel. for calling here, that here a crib. Zoom, zoom in on that. Look at that little label. Rowdy, rowdy flannels. Rowdy Christian Pretty excited about that Been one. Been in Idaho okay. too long. Hey, we got to do a giveaway. Yes. Uh, uh, remember, all through Advent, every show in December, we are giving away gifts. I'm watching his computer. All do the our pub members. If you're a pub member, you're already automatically entered in the drawing. If you're not yet, you can join the pub today. Fight Laugh feast.com and get your name entered into a drawing and today we got a his or her mug his or hold on his and her wait a second his and her mug pause it could be it could be just a friend and friend mug time out i didn't finish oh okay culminating in the grand prize that's right the grand prize uh, at the wives show yes uh we're going to be giving away 30 tickets Tickets. to fight laugh feast are we sure we want to do that (laughs) That's we, a lot of tickets. We've, we've been just get, we've been announcing it. <laughs> Prodigalamerica.com. I, so, I think it's like, a law now that we got to give it. Hey, I think legally the law would come it. after us yeah. if we didn't give it now. You know what? I just if we're giving away thirty tickets, let me, you better make sure you give away thirty tickets. Whoever wins this, I won't be like, oh, I had ten left over. Nah, ain't no left over. You yeah. find thirty people. I know they can sell them. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. They no. can sell them. <laughs> Scalp the cross. No, politics. these are not for resale. Oh, my <laughs> God. I got little, them cross politics tickets side, half little, off. Little it literally off. says on the website, not for resale. Hey, okay. $75 for that cross <laughs> politics ticket. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the winner of of the mugs uh, with a fight, laugh, feast, uh, Are we doing all four? No, nope, nope, this is This is for the next show. Oh, that's this another right. show. Okay. And for the fight, fight laugh, feast, feast koozie. Koozie. Okay. And all two right, mugs. Is, uh, ooh, Daniel... Reed, Danielle, Danielle Reed, excuse me, Danielle Reed. Daniel's her dad. Now, now we're now we're doing the last names. Oh, I didn't mean to do the last names. Okay, <laughs> Danielle 
R. <laughs> <laughs> Danielle, we sorry. <laughs> we, we so sorry. We didn't, but we didn't say but the state. We didn't say the state. And now, it, now we really can't say the state. From, I want to do the state. Daniel R. <laughs> Don't ask. Don't ask. Don't Never ask. Mind. Nope. Never mind. All right. Well, congratulations. Uh, yeah. You won yourself uh, some uh, some mugs. Hey, can, some campfire mugs. Do we know how long they've been a club member? Um, I could find out. Man, that's so much data you guys want me to I just, keep I just want to say thank you. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. I appreciate you. Yeah, for real. Merry Christmas, Danielle R. Especially since, you know, we got things like Tucker Carlson coming out with his own network. We just really thankful for you. <laughs> we just, we love our club members. Let me tell you how much we love y'all. You know, uh, and this actually gets us into, into our news today, but you remember uh, when we started, um, Ben Shapiro had just started oh, man. doing podcasts. Yeah, uh, and he was like uh, once a week. He started out once a once week a and week. then three times a week. I think in 2016, uh, and then eventually he went to five five times a week. But um, uh, had Glenn Beck hadn't pulled the blaze yet? Had he? Had he pulled oh, the blaze yeah. play and by 2016? Oh yeah. oh yeah. When did when did the blaze play start? I, I'll find Beck? out. Yeah, yeah, I'll find, find that out. out. Um, so, but basically, there was no business model. There was no streaming news stuff like this no. uh, when we first started, except for maybe the Blaze. Blaze was the only one. Glenn was the first one to really jump in um, okay. to the to the deep end. He really jumped jumped in the deep end. But now, I mean, the competition that that's all over the place. You got uh, Daily Wire. You got the Blaze, and now you got Tucker Carlson coming out with TCN, Tucker Carlson to, Network. Yeah, on Monday is when he dropped. Yeah, and, yeah. He dropped that on Monday. Hmm. Uh, and then, of course, well, actually, the Trailblazers are really... 2012, okay, 2011, 2012. The right Trailblazers is actually Fox. Alex Jones. Alex Jones had InfoWars out. Um, wait, Google that, too. Was that a membership? Yeah, get that? Was that a membership thing? Yeah. Alex Jones? Yeah, yeah. So uh, when he got canceled... I mean, why am I doing this? We have producers. Y'all tell me when Alex Jones' show started. Yeah, when, did Alex, yeah. when does Alex Jones start, Neil? But you remember when Alex Jones got canceled? I mean, it hurt him, but not really because he already had been running that play and already had the infrastructure up. 1999. Ooh. No. Yeah. Not, not when he started yeah. live streaming. 1999 is when he's oh. when America's oh. news website owned by Alex Jones. Things, Bro. Yeah. On his own website? <laughs> he like rejects it. He's like, do this work for me. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like your information. <laughs> Never mind. False. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, but it's been it's been amazing to watch all this media really start to creep up. It shows it shows me some of the um, uh, inclinations or, or senses that we've been kind of picking up since we started in 2016. That like the market's changing. We mm. came out we came out a sweet time, but those guys. I mean, Alex Jones definitely was early. Um, yeah. uh, Glenn Beck understood streaming way before yep. anybody yep. else did, and was able to actually initiate a lot of things that we see now. We should be thankful to him for what he's did. But yep. but Tucker Carlson is doing right now. Um, it's interesting to me because I find a lot of people who are celebrating Tucker Carlson because they're like, oh man, it kind of feels like the the group of independent um, and the free market are happy to, the independent um, <laughs> news uh, institutions, yeah, daily, uh-huh. we're all happy to see Tucker here. Yeah. Like every last one of us. Yeah. And then it hit me when I saw, I think yesterday I was watching it popped up, Tucker's going to be releasing his own platform come monday and i'm all i'm and hoping that like, boosts our club membership it, it, <laughs> <laughs> and i was like really selling I was like, okay yeah. that's great and then it hit me it was like wait a second anybody who was a part of fox nation and viewed fox nation everybody knows that tucker was the number one producer for fox for nation, fox nation. Yeah. i mean uh-huh. I, if you ever sign up for fox nation is because tucker's docs and his other pieces of content that you wanted to see they were back there mm-hmm. and he had, if you take everybody else's production of Fox nation and you pair it up against Tucker's production, they couldn't keep up with Tucker. I'm betting you, they had mm-hmm. to add hire at, at least three or four extra editors mm-hmm. just to be able to work on the content that Tucker was putting out. He was putting out a large amount. And so I'm saying to myself, like there's nobody in our sphere that's putting out that much content, you know, video content, Article nobody in that amount of level with just like one guy, nobody's yeah, doing that. Yeah. And so right now, I think um, Gabe, you call this like um, uh, the the new mainstream or whatever. I think when we were talking earlier, but I think this Gutenberg is the ri- 2.0 yeah, yeah, I think this is the yeah, rise of the media. new. This is the rise of the new mainstream media. Yeah, yeah. and it's yeah, here right. for one purpose, yeah. and everybody, one sense or another, is united for one purpose, and it's to take down the old mainstream media. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
What happens though when they fade away and they're gone? And then the guns start pointing at one another. The, the okay, exactly. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this ad because I think you've got the yeah. ad right now. Okay, let's let's watch the ad because I haven't even seen it yet. And then I want I want you to explain this a little bit more. They told you the guys torching Wendy's in 2020 were mostly peaceful. They said that mask worked. They told you the vax was safe. They tried to convince you that Russia blew up its own pipeline. The corporate media lied too much and it killed them. We're driving to see Julian Assange. Believe me when I wait, tell wait, you. Wait, 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 I should be yeah. boycotting Bud Light. Fantastic job, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Woo. Just go get a membership. Well, well here's, the, here's the deal, though. Take my money. Well, I still don't understand how contractually he's getting around Fox. So why? Why do you oh. say that? Because, well, he's he's still locked in. It looks like the, still locked into Until whatever Fox contract that he has until 2025. I understand the Twitter thing. So apparently when he signed the contract to Fox, Twitter didn't matter in this conversation. Okay. Um, because Twitter wasn't doing live streaming. It was uh, And when doing video at It the was time. Facebook that was doing live streaming. And so they locked down Twitter, uh, Tucker's Facebook. So anything he did, he couldn't do anything without Wait, facing so, but, Fox. But when so when Tucker left Fox, he's still under contract. Well, he yes. hasn't technically left Fox. Yeah. He's just suspended from his show from doing it. But they really? still they're yes. still in. They're working they, through their separation. It's not over yet. There's still really it. Twenty twenty five is when his contract. They're, they're ends. in a custody battle. <laughs> <laughs> and Fox is keeping the kids. <laughs> I'll tell you that well, right now. And Tucker's like, so be it. He's like, I'll, I'll make, make more. kids anyways. <laughs> I'll make more kids. That's, well, well, so, so, oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. So, yeah. so under contract through 2025 yeah. or into, into. Yeah. So through 2025. So, so basically, the, 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 the thing in, was. 2024 is the last year of okay, his contract. Okay. So, so, so January 1, 2025. Yeah, yeah, right, right. right. Okay. So, so, but real quick, just one point there. So, Twitter makes sense, but it doesn't make sense to me how he can literally just start his own network. So, you got to remember why this is. That would seem to be like. Little, uh, yeah. competition with I think, Fox. Yeah. I think yeah. he's kind of giving them the middle finger on this one. I really do. Okay. Um, that's part of the, and he wants to smoke. He wants you. to fight. He yeah. wants to engage with them and let's blow this up. If me and Fox are going to go have a, a custody battle and I'm going to start this, this is going to be all publicity for me to, to rise. And I think he's intending to use all of it for that. But part of the reason they set Tucker down, because I don't think it's about money for Tucker. They set him down so he wouldn't be talking during yeah. the next election. Yeah. Ah. Uh, and that's why oops. you sit on him. Yeah. And this was... Fox should have done everything they possibly could if if they if that's their reasoning, not to let this fish get away from them. Like <laughs> he should have just kept this right. one on the hook, yeah. kept them in the water. Don't, don't you know? Just slowly. And I mean, every every video he's released on on X, oh, it's has only been like oh, has exceeded what he would normally get in in a normal. So yeah, he would normally oh, yeah. get about five million views in a given night. And that's that's his high. That would be the high side. Of course, of he's going. Every that was night. his high. That was, that was his, his high, high, high side of things. Yeah. And so, I mean, he's getting he probably on the low that. side, maybe ten million on Twitter. Yeah, he averaged. And of course, a view on Twitter, I think, is going to be different than a view on on cable. Well, how do you know? Um, we don't know. This is this is what uh, I, this, just just because no. the nature of TV. Nah, I mean, people, people sit with the remote like this, boop and boop, boop, and <laughs> you know, yeah. and he's doing high quality interviews that yeah. people. Um, it's funny how X has turned into a video platform. Uh -huh. You can go there now and you'll watch a four to five minute video. Yeah. You really will. Yeah. And Tucker came out. I was watching the, like a 30 minute. He was doing, he started out with like 10 minutes and mm -hmm. he did 15 minutes and he bumped up to 20 longer interviews. Yeah. And I'm like, how, how does he have me here for an hour and a half on X? Yeah. And it was the content. Yeah. And so like, so Tucker is about to, uh, you know, I got, I got one of the memberships there and I looked at his website. There's not a whole lot on there right now. Yeah. And there's stuff that's coming. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, when Tucker decides to put all this content out on this platform and it starts rolling, he is going to steamroll everybody else on content. Not just because he's going to have more content and in a lot of ways better content than most people, but he is like, he, if somebody's going to say, okay, who, who do you want to go to for an objective view on something or at least a main view on something or somebody who has a trusted name? You look at all the people on the conservative side of media. Who are you going to first? Well, you can go check a guy who doesn't have the resources or you can say, I'm going to Tucker because he's been doing this for 30 years. He's got resources. He's, he's won the day. He's fought in the middle of the battle and he got kicked off by Fox. Yeah. So he's, he doesn't have a problem giving me the absolute unadulterated facts. I'm going to engage with Tucker. Yeah. Well, he's first. <laughs> yeah. Everybody else comes after that. Right. Yeah. Uh, 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 you, Alex Jones. 
Uh, Alex Jones, you, well, the problem with Alex Jones is that he runs too much of the conspiracy side. So he'll come second or third because you got to know what the wild and crazy view is because you had COVID. <laughs> because it's true. And, and, COVID he, and he didn't call the, the towers. He, he didn't call he the towers. He called, called the towers Jones months has before been, it happened. Summer is, before it happened. Is, Jones has been far more accurate than most of our people who have been in Congress and our presidents. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> and he's been crazy, and that's too. And that's not saying tons. <laughs> right. But my point is, in, in right now, everybody's champion Tucker, but my, you're going to see people turn the guns on him pretty soon. Yeah, yeah. And because and the reason they will is because of mainstream media is going to be, get less and less credible. Yeah. Uh, it won't have the viewership. And Tucker's going to take an audience, and it's going to be interesting to see how we react to... Um, building and not just having the same bad guy. Well, it's going to create a, yeah, it's, it's going to create you know I mean? a different market. And yes. And I mean, we've already maybe just do doubled our toes in this when he did his interview with Andrew Tate, for example. Yes. Oh yeah. Where, like yeah. there was, there was quite a bit of, I think justified pushback. Like, Hey, why didn't you, why didn't you press him? Like you ask hard questions, like you, like you yeah. usually press people. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I think there was some, there were some real question marks there. Yeah. Um, what do you guys think about, I mean, what's, what's Elon Musk doing in all this? I don't know. That's what's scary. Yeah, he's so, he's playing cause, Godfather. Cause, cause, cause I mean, he, he, he's, um, you know, he rehabilitated, um, Alex Jones, uh, Alex Jones. Well, I was actually thinking of, I mean, he brought back, um, he brought back Babylon B. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And, yes. and I mean, well, he bought Twitter. He bought yep. X. Almost yep. for Babylon. <laughs> and then and then reinstated yep. Babylon B. Now yep. recently um, runs this poll, um, says, should we reinstate Alex Jones on this platform? Yeah. Um, you know. And it passes 70. 70%. Two million votes. Yeah. 70 uh, People have spoken, so it shall be. And Alex Jones is back on X now. Um, and then, of course, you've got also, you know, Tucker kind of doing his, his initial. He really um, helped Jones on this one. Uh, where, I think he went to bat for him. What, what's what's Elon's play? I mean, I think uh, Elon is playing some some form of Godfather because I mean K not, Kingmaker, Kingmaker, but like, um, you know, in in the gangster world, uh, there's there's politics there, but it's it, there's a lot more like um, you know, thugness to those politics that go behind the scenes than what you see when you see out, oh, interesting. out in front. You know what I'm okay. saying? Mm -hmm. I see. I think so. Um, and I, it, it, the thing that I don't understand in all this, so so Elon, there's a lot of backdoor stuff we aren't seeing right now. I'm not quite sure what it all is. But one of the things that I don't understand in all this is why Apple and Google Play haven't deplatformed Twitter now. Because Apple and Google Play, that's how Alex Jones got deplatformed. YouTube, Apple, and Google uh play all got together in the same day he was gone and they asked him he yeah. asked him like uh, amazon within 24 too, hours everything. amazon too by okay. the way he got debanked uh he lost some of his website stuff why Be well yeah because of some stuff that he had said i think it was the main stuff was the sandy hook stuff but there was all sorts of things uh alex jones inside of the uh spaces that they had after he got reinstated couldn't get a clear answer for any of them from any of them why he actually got deplatformed. Okay. So according to Alex Jones, yeah. he doesn't even know ultimately. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Interesting. Uh, okay. Um, but, go ahead. So I I don't understand that play, but what what's interesting is Elon is um in some sense making the liberal cancel culture smaller and smaller and smaller with every move. Yeah, that's true. Right. No, because, I think that's a good point because he's got he's got the Tucker audience now. Now he's got the Alex Jones audience now. He's got the Babylon Bee audience. He's does, got all these people are pretty happy. Go ahead. I think though, I th I'm kind of asking what Pastor with you, uh, I have uh, some thoughts, but why does it cancel culture matters to Elon? Right. Like I, I get that he's making it smaller, but why would that even matter to him? He seems to say that he he really believes in free speech. Right. And do you buy that? It, uh, somewhat, but he's also trying to put this little brain thing in people's head, and I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, like that bothers me too, eh, just a little bit. You know, so, control, but here, so I remember. You don't we, want Grok in your head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want nothing in my head that the Lord Jesus ain't put there. Uh, <laughs> there is. A, I remember one time we had a sponsor, and we had a sponsor that I couldn't believe was, you know, sponsored on the show. Doesn't make sense that they would. And I remember asking the guy who owned the company, like, why would you sponsor with us? I mean, I'm grateful, very grateful. And he told me, he said, you don't understand. If I don't sponsor you guys, this is an area where I don't, I'm going to have to spend a whole bunch of capital and money to get evangelicals and Christians to think about politics in this way. It's going to affect what I do way over here. And so I don't have a culture 
that is thinking broadly about a politics, culture. a business yeah. culture yeah. that understands all the implications, that's even talking about this and why this isn't my field. I need you guys to exist with what you do so that it can be a, a, a point of defense for me over here. Mm. And he's like, and we don't think in our worlds of having, okay, that needs to exist. Okay, praise these guys, lift these guys up way over here on the flank of me, but yeah. I need them there. And I think X is one of those things in social media platforms, technologies, whatever Elon is thinking, he has a bigger picture than probably what I'm able to conjure up. And he knows the importance of having that platform exist for whatever he's doing with cars and vehicles, whatever he's doing with spaceships, and whatever he plans to do with his new technology coming out with the brain stuff. <laughs> I don't know what all it is. But whatever it is, all of it is connected in some way to him for him to be able to implement the kind of reality that he sees. Remember, X is not new. Yep. X started back in, with PayPal Facebook. days. Like yeah. that was back when, when it started. This was the, they, I think some of the split happened because of X and PayPal in competition with each other, right? Those two guys. And so X has been sitting over here waiting for a long time. Mm. And when he bought Twitter, he saw the opportunity to come in yeah. and to stand out. And it's the most unique moment I think that we've ever seen in the, what this since this short life of social media, where we actually have a split between if you're conservative, you're on this platform. If you're liberal, you're on that platform. You know, you, if you're a you, Christian, you all know what, what is the, what is the participation rates in X been like since Elon took it's over? It's been super high. I mean, oh, it's, like, it's, I mean, yeah. like, I mean, I know that early on a bunch of liberals said like, this is going to tank it. Um, I, I know there was a little bit of jogging in the like share values and stuff. We, yeah. Probably just the instability of a purchase and, and no, new ownership. His but, engagement has been super crazy. But, but I mean, what's like total like um, total participation? Producers, you heard that? Find it. Uh, Neil? <laughs> no, it's, it's been, been like? higher than it's ever been, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I mean, really? Elon talks oh, about it, it every time, okay. a couple times on his own okay. Twitter handle. You know, the other thing that I was thinking about. This goes along with Gabe, knowing how intelligent Elon is. He's asking for a type of smoke that I don't know if I would intentionally ask for. Mm. You know, so what I mean by that is, you know that Amazon, Google, and Apple, and old school Twitter canceled uh, Jones. Alex Jones, right. Why would you, knowing that you don't have the, the thing that owns all of the social media platforms is the hardware. Apple owns the hardware. If they kick you off, Google, they own the hardware. Hmm. If they kick you off, you're mm -hmm. kind of done unless you're going to make a hardware. Hmm. And so I'm thinking to myself, like, Elon is... You think that's you think that's his backup play? You think that's his ace in the I hole? I think like, there's something there. He's, he's like, I dare you. I'm... I'm dare you, uh, and I'm going to pull a Tucker. Because one of the things... And I'll build my own. I think that's what's... I, I really do believe that's what's going on. When you look at what Tucker did with Tate, even though I wasn't happy with the interview that he gave Tate, because I, I think Tucker's a real journalist, and I think he let the journalism go to go sit kind of a way back row. Um, he used Tate though to punch other people. Mm -hmm. Now we didn't talk about it as much, but he used Tate to punch his own enemies and to smack them in the face and to gather an audience that he wouldn't normally reach from Fox. Right? So I see all of Tucker's use for Tate. And even though I wish he would have been more of a journalist to deal with some of the moral issues there, I see his play. The same way I think Elon is using Alex Jones mm -hmm. <laughs> to do the same thing to the people who are like, well, we got rid of this guy. And it's like, well, no, no, you didn't. He's back now. Take that. And everybody's like, well, what do we do? Because when we say somebody's canceled, we mean he's canceled. Right. So he's bought them back out to play in a way that, yeah. I mean, it's really unique. And, yeah. and I've been, I, I told you this earlier, I'm trying to figure out when, um, Alex Jones, I can't remember. Uh, what did you find, Gabe? Um, I'm just interesting statistics here um, real quick. Um, so Twitter has around 528 million monetizable monthly active users. Oh. Uh, that number is projected to reach 652 million by 2028. That's the projections there. Um, uh, Twitter generated about $4.4 billion in revenue in 2022. Uh, what's interesting, though, is you compare that to Facebook. This is why Facebook is still king. It's a behemoth. Some level. Yeah. Um, Facebook's daily active users, um, not the same stat. Yeah. I, I gave Twitter's monthly active. Twitter's daily, Facebook's daily active users is 1.9 billion. Um, 9 billion. 9 billion. Their monthly active users is 2.9 billion. Yeah, it's a behemoth. It's but you just know what incredible. But, but here's why. It's um, always Twitter, been like that, though, Gabe. Twitter's 
um, got a long ways to grow. Is yes. what that means. But but that's but no 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 yeah, no no it, no it no. Could, yeah, no. It, Twitter X is like the LGBTQ legit movement. Uh-huh. They're like them. They don't have to be a lot of them, but they yeah. can have a lot of control over some things that they. Yeah, shouldn't. but I'm saying the cap for Twitter. I mean, if my if, point if is, Facebook's getting two million, two billion users. They don't have to have that many. They don't have to have that many. No, they're not even close. They, because they control the, the conversation around news and media. Yeah. I mean, Which just means they're going to get more users. Well, exactly. But I'm, so I'm not surprised about that at all. But it's always a, a fi- um, X, final cut. It's Twitter. No, a Twitter um, X has always been lower in one way or another than Facebook. Yeah. That is not like a new thing. Right. That's always been the case. But they've had way more uh, control over the narrative, cultural narrative, than Facebook has. That's right. They always have. And that's why it would, you know, what... That's why people are concerned about him owning X yeah, right. is because he's going to have control over the culture now. Right. And this is what, you know, with Alex Jones, I think guys like Alex Jones, guys like um, Tucker, um, some other people who have been outspoken. We've always looked at those people as being kind of the canary in the cave. Right. We'll know when the oxygen is out of this joker, because when that canary falls, it's dead and we're done. Right. Um, but the question I'm having is, what happens, though, when the canary comes back to life? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, and it seems like the canary is starting to flap its wings. <laughs> like, it's starting to make some sounds. And I'm like, whoa. Well, I don't, I wasn't ready for this scenario. Yeah. I was ready the for. The canary's Twitter. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah you, you got it. All right. You guys are aware that we have a new app, right? If, you, if not, you should download it right now. The Fight, Laugh, Feast pub tv app head on over to your app store type in cross politic fight laugh feast or pub tv once you find the app you may need to update your app or if you find a droid phone if you have a droid phone you may need to delete your current flf app and re-download it unfortunately once downloaded you'll be able to view or listen to our content right on your mobile device as always, if you'd like to sign up for a pub membership, you can head over to fightleftfeast.com. And remember, during the month of December, uh, as you join, you become a pub TV member, uh, you are entered into drawings for every single show. We're giving away gifts all Christmas long, culminating in 30 free tickets to Prodigal America Fight Laugh Feast 2024 in Fort Worth, Texas. Again, that's fightleftfeast.com. Become a pub member. Download the app. Um, it's, a, it's pretty sweet. It's, I got I just bring some good kind of yep. compliments on that. Okay, I got a question for you guys. Mm-hmm. Let's say you had, I don't know, $44 billion. <laughs> just laying around. Just laying around. <laughs> well, what would you buy? Well, to be fair, that was probably... I, Gabe, don't ruin it. Um, <laughs> a third of Elon's wealth. Maybe uh, less. Okay. But I mean, that's still I mean, Anyways, a third a of my of wealth. <laughs> I don't want to see a third of my wealth go. I don't care how much money I got. If I got $10? No, it's, <laughs> it's actually way less than a third of his wealth. Okay, well, that's yeah. fine. But if you had it, mm-hmm. what would you buy? For $44 billion? I mean, what would, yeah. I mean, if you can mo- change the momentum, the direction of the culture, and it was an actual And it know, had to be like some sort of business purchase. It had to be something that was going to have a, a true impact, a real valid cultural impact. Like within the next five years or so, hmm. like what would you buy? Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> Football is the most number one watched program. Oh, interesting. In in um, in I laughed world. at you, Gabe. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I did laugh um, at you internally. And, and sports has been part of the center of cultural pushback for, um, like we talked. Remember we talked through the uh, Gabe. You might be on some. Um, <laughs> and and then. You know the Rangers were the only, the Texas Rangers were the only team yeah, did, last did year the, uh, the LGBT month did the LGBT month Pride yeah. Pride month and they won the pennant and all like half the Rangers were wearing like Christian T shirts as they're warming up during the pennant and all this stuff I mean the impact that sports could have on on a culture and especially with real Christian convictions is pretty significant um, so that's actually a really I didn't and the Cowboys are America's team everyone knows that <laughs> I mean. And, <laughs> You got audience members laughing. Yeah, yeah. Pastor, oh, have you? Th- what, what, you think? Uh, what? Uh, no, that's uh, actually a really good idea. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, I wonder how much the Cowboys Th- cost. They're probably worth more than forty-four billion. I don't know. Actually, let me let me Google that. Yeah, yeah. You guys, yeah, yeah. Well, our producers should be working super hard trying to figure out those things. I got it. What do you think, Pastor? What you got? Uh, I I don't know. I, I even I, let I, you build something if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, but no, I don't know. I think, I think, Elon got it. Because even with Gabe's talking about, you got to promote it somewhere, right? And if you got that kind of money, 
a social media platform where you Man, can get everybody. They there. only worth nine billion. Okay, so Elon, Elon, you could buy. Ten, <laughs> you can buy half of NFL. <laughs> you can buy a couple of NFL teams. Well, why not buy a baseball team? Yeah. A football, football team, team? A hockey team. A hockey mm-hmm. team? Yeah. You know, I mean, I thought I was thinking about this, and one of the things that we tend to forget is being a powerful weapon in, in culture fighting and engaging is capital. Mm. And I don't think we put enough. We allow yeah. Christians to make a lot of money, but we don't go say, go make a lot of money and build the kingdom. We don't, I don't think we say that and right. promote it enough to say, right. no, 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 it's okay to have, you know, $160 billion and then to buy something and say, this glory, this is for the sake of the God's name, yeah. right? Let's this build, is for the glory the, of God. Let's, let's go the build the kingdom with that, right? Yeah. And I think that, man, we kind of need to be thinking like that. And if, maybe if we were, we would have more influence on the culture itself. In some ways. That's Amen. an interesting question. Amen. Mm. Yeah. If you're single, get married. If you're married, have you some kids. If you have kids, go baptize them. Until tomorrow, love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. Go fight, laugh, and feast. This is Cross Politic. What would you do with $44 billion? You just find out. That's like how Gabe like, had an answer. I know, <laughs> right? Hey, Christian Dad. Are you paying a monthly fee to let Hollywood producers pump their septic tanks directly into your living room? Even worse, directly into your imagination and the imaginations of your children. How much darkness streams into your home every day, every week? Have you gotten too used to turning your mind off when you put your feet up? Have you invited your own enemies into your home? How much damage has already been done to you and to your family? My heart says that the way I feel most myself is to go by the name Fred. That's because I'm non-binary. Canon Plus is building a global platform with one simple goal. To create and deliver great content that will help Christian families grow stronger and more dangerous in the world. Content that will kick your brain's butt and help you bear down and step up. Content that will encourage, equip, educate, challenge, and inspire your family. Content built on the bedrock of real truth, real goodness, not fake trendy virtues. How dare you! And real, lasting beauty. Your family might already be struggling. Maybe the man of the house has been sipping too much Bud Light gospel in the basement for too long. It's day six of girlhood! But it's not too late. With thousands of audiobooks, podcasts, truth-telling documentaries, and curriculum for all ages, Canon Plus wants to help you grow stronger, together with your family. There might be enemies at the gates, but there's a feast on the table to strengthen you for the fight. We want the resources we produce to help you do the real work of cultural change, becoming a lighthouse in your own community armed with courageous joy and a faith that burns hot and bright, especially when the world would rather keep you on a cute little dimmer switch. We don't have to wallow in the world's filth. Moonlight, best picture. You ugly. We don't need to let our strength atrophy like numbed victims of some ungodly matrix, leaving our families unprotected and vulnerable. It's time for Christian fathers to stop being such cultural cuckolds, well-behaved Wonder Bread winners sitting by and paying for the world to assault their families with lies. Let's get strong and grow our families strong. Let's raise our kids to be the world's worst nightmares. Smart, secure, fearless, joyful, difficult to control, and quick to laugh at lies and nonsense. We're pushing back against the rising tide of sewage on our screens. We're pumping out antidotes to the world's poisons. But we can't do it alone. We need allies. You need allies. So consider this your invitation to join up and make things a little awkward for all our weaker brethren and church leadership. It's not that we're against anything. Who so badly want to be worldly cool kids. Help us build a streaming platform unlike any other. A platform that will challenge and strengthen Christians, mind, body, and soul, until this cultural tide begins to turn. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be. And yes, this tide will turn. This ain't the Alamo. We're all going to die, but we have no intention of losing.
Canon Plus. You don't have to subscribe, but you do have to stop sucking. <laughs>